Good evening, everyone. Tonight is the public hearing for FY 24, 2024 to 2028 capital improvement plan. This is the public's opportunity to voice their opinions on what capital needs they feel the county should fund. Pam Olin, finance director, will give an overview of the plan, and then we will open the floor for comments. Pam? So the county charter defines a capital project as a building or purchase, something that's a public betterment, um, as well as acquisition of property and the purchase of equipment. Uh, land, bridges, buildings, all of these and the equipment associated with those all can be considered capital projects. The CIP is intended to be a planning document, so you uh, uh, I'll explain the timeline next, but basically it's to give you an idea of what is to come and what big purchases the county has potentially scheduled in the future. We uh, receive input from the departments for the next five fiscal years uh, over September and October. We also meet with all those departments to discuss those uh, amounts, that what they're looking for, whether or not um, there's any flexibility in timing, whether or not they have, um, it's mission critical that it happen at the period of time or does it have some flexibility. In November, we have this public input session. Uh, December, by the third Tuesday in December, the executive is required to submit the CIP to council. Uh, the Charter calls for the council to uh, adopt the CIP in February. The intention for that is to allow the executive to use the funding for the current year or the next year while creating the annual budget to make sure there are sufficient funds in the budget process for those items. In June, the council adopts the budget which adopts the capital projects for the first fiscal year of this plan. And then in July, those capital projects then either get funded either through PAYGO funding or through bonding, but the bonding, they have to, you have to wait for the bond process to end before you can actually start those projects. The county has a uh, debt service policy, and that policy is that we are not to exceed 12% of total general fund estimated revenue for our principal and interest in the general fund. For fiscal 23, the estimated payments are $13.8 million. Uh, the budgeted revenue is $173 million, resulting in a P&I of only a P&I percentage of only 7.96, so well under our uh, policy limit. I know this is a little small, but there's also a copy for everybody to pick up. This is a summary of all of the requests by department. Uh, there are, as I said, it's a five-year plan. So the intention is, is that over the next five years to uh, provide for the departments as best we can for their requests. In fiscal 24, um, the major funding aspects are uh, furniture and fixtures for the new public safety building, um, funding for some projects at corrections. I will get to the Board of Education on the next slide. Um, $2 million for the Civic Center and uh, $12 million for Rec and Parks. Now, when the actual CIP is listed with the individual projects, those projects, a good majority of those projects of the $12 million are actually funded through uh, grants. So that is not $12 million that we're looking for from either bond or PAYGO. The bottom half of this schedule shows how we're expecting to fund this. In fiscal 24, we're looking at about $13.8 million of general obligation bond money and uh, $10.5 million of PAYGO. Uh, about $11 million we're looking for for our state grant and $8 million in federal grants to come up to the $45 million in total across both general fund and enterprise fund uh, projects. The Board of Education, the top three projects are what are listed in these numbers is the uh, continuation of the Mardella Middle High School renovation addition, 
Uh, the Y High roof renovation, a portion would be ours, and then a portion where uh, the Board of Education is looking to the state to try to finalize that project. And then $1.3 million to start planning, studying Fruitland Primary as to uh, what to potentially do with that facility. So that's the top three priorities. They have an extensive on their website. Um, CIP request. This is uh, at this moment what we feel is the county is able to fund in the short term. And then um, if anybody has any questions or comments, we will take them at this time. If you could state your name, please. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Brian Rigger. I'm the Chief Finance and Operating Officer for Wicomico County Public Schools. Dr. Stoffer sends his regards. He's at one of his community forums tonight, uh, and, but wanted to me to send his uh, well wishes to you all. Uh, we appreciate the uh, the uh, capital improvement uh, plan here from the county and uh, the work that it will allow us to continue doing at Mardella, Y High, and begin work uh, for Fruitland Primary School. As you know, the Board of Education approved our capital improvement plan in September. Uh, we then met with county officials to get a better look at forecasted availability of funds through, uh, from bonding and PAYGO. And then uh, based upon those discussions, we met and did some significant re reductions in our ask for FY24. That was just approved at Tuesday night's Board of Education meeting. And uh, uh, we appreciate, again, uh, hitting these top three priorities. We do stand ready, uh, myself and my planning and construction department, stand ready for continued discussions with county officials should there be any opportunities to uh, uh, reach down into that number four priority, the Parkside roof, uh, and look forward to continuing those discussions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? If not, thank you very much for coming to this evening's public hearing on the Capital Improvement Plan. Have a good evening.